Okay, I'm Vern, and you are? I am Andrew. How old are you, Andrew? I'm 29 years old. Okay. And what um, what got you to the, to the place of coming in here to have your makeover today? Tell me a little bit about your journey. Well, my journey uh, started probably, probably about five to seven years ago. You could kind of start to notice a little bit of hair loss, uh, nothing nothing to worry about at the time. But uh, as time went on, some of my jobs that I did, I had to wear helmets for, and and, and I would imagine a tad bit of stress has added to it where the hair has decided to start thinning out more and more over time. And now it is time that I feel like I would like to have my hair back and have a few different options with it. Okay. Uh, along with my family history being a little bit of uh, the baldingness has taken place <laughs> in just about everybody over the last six generations. So. Okay. You know, I'm excited and I am nervous all at the same time. It's uh, it's a little bit different to know that you're going to walk in looking one way and you're going to come out with a totally different look and totally different transformation. And it's exciting, but at the same time, it's yeah, it's a little it's a little nerve wracking. But it seems like I'm in good hands, so I'm excited to uh, excited to go forward with that. Okay. Um, this place uh, at Hair Restoration seemed like a a great opportunity. Uh, it seemed to be the right fit for me. Okay. Well, are you ready? Should we go do it? I'm excited. Let's try it. All right. <laughs> It feels like I had hair. You want to touch it? You should touch it. <laughs> oh, that, is, that is just different. <laughs> that, well, all right. It's there. It is. And it's, it's definitely there. Yeah. <laughs> it's stuck. It's yours. <laughs> wow. Crazy. It does even feel like a scalp up there, too. To you a few questions, Andrew. And all right. So, Andrew, what, um, you know, before we did this, when you when you like looked in the mirror, you know before you had your hair replaced here, you know, what what did you see and how did you feel? Um, was it affecting you in any way, you know, in your career, your social life, anything like that? It, it had a, a wide range of effects. So to to answer the first part of it, when I looked in the mirror, I didn't want to look in the mirror. <laughs> kind of it was disappointing every time I, you know. Everybody looks at themselves and they come in and out of the restrooms, you know, in the facilities. It's, you know, and, you know, just make sure you have everything mostly together. And it's like, you know, first thing you look at, it seemed, for me, it was, you would see, you know, the the holes, you know, all the, all the uh, I'm not entirely sure what the word would be, but all the thinning areas and, and basically the, the balding areas at the time. And it got, it was a little disappointing, you know, to... To see every single day and then you know you get in and out of the shower and you see you know see the mirror and your hair is wet and it's, you see every you know all the bald spots coming through again and it's a tough it's a tough rodeo for 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 me to you know to see that going away at 29 years old you know that's that was tough to watch how I mean did it affect and how did it affect you know how I worked it's it's a huge thing for me because it, it is confidence you know you learn you know, you learn a lot uh, through people and your interactions and how they interact with you is how your first impressions usually are. And that's where people base a lot of their, a lot of their opinions on. And that's something that for, for me is a huge deal because I, I meet a lot of new people every day with traveling all over and, and whether it's just, uh, it's just something that I, I wanted in my life and I wanted to feel confident again and actually feel proud when I walk down somewhere or if I meet some new people, you know. It's just, it's a nice thing to, to have that confidence. And it's, I mean, it's just weird to, to know that everything up there is thick. I can do different things with it. I can style it the way I want to, or the way I used to even back in the day. And, you know, kind of, I mean, a lot of things changed over time, you know, to, you know, you, you started, I started realizing that I was accommodating my hair more than my hair was helping me. <laughs> and that's where I wanted to make that change. And so that's why a full head of hair right now is, <laughs> It's it's a really neat thing, and I'm excited to see the you know, how the rest of this lines up. But it, uh, look at that! It's just <laughs> <laughs> that's that's crazy. It's coming into play. <laughs> right? That's that's crazy. <laughs> the pole is gone. Holy smokes! <laughs> look at that. 
<laughs> what do you think of the blend? The blend is, I mean, this color is just spot on. You know, like it, it, there is no way of knowing that that is not my hair on top. <laughs> there is no way of knowing that. That is, that is really cool. <laughs> the receding hairline is gone away now. The, oh, that is, that is really neat. <laughs> The receding hairline's gone, the balding spot in the back is gone. Uh, I, I, I'm excited I'm excited to look in this mirror right now. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to wake up tomorrow morning <laughs> and go, go in the bathroom. <laughs> like, oh, that is, that is super cool. Uh, I, I mean, confidence, I, I don't know, I mean, that's just, there's no words for that. <laughs> it's like, you, and you can't even tell that it's, I mean, you can't even tell that it's there. Like, there's, like, there's no way to see that there's anything stuck to your head. I mean, other than the fact that it's, oh, really, it's just, it's your hair. <laughs> it's what it is, it's your hair. <laughs> Look at that, you just, that is, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, no way of knowing that it's not, it's not your original hair. Oh.